Want to heal wounds and tough skin conditions faster? Revolutionary Silver Honey Rapid Wound Repair is proven to kill 99.9% .9 of bacteria immediately, so wounds and skin conditions can heal faster, and your horse can feel like it never even happened. Use Silver Honey on cuts, wounds, rain rot, scratches, sweet itch, and other tough skin conditions. Silver Honey is new from Absorbing. Learn more about Silver Honey at silverhoney.com. back here and I brought you a little different type of horse. So this horse just came into my program yesterday. Um, I, I rode her once for the people. Um, they decided to leave her and she's not necessarily going to have a future in cutting, um, but she, she's had some cutting training in the past and they wanted me to evaluate this horse to see where her strengths were and how how and if we can improve her in any way. Um, so I'm, I'm gonna kind of break this down a little different than I would just, just as a cutting horse. Um, so I don't hardly know anything about this horse, but I gotta figure out as a trainer of how to improve this horse, what I would do and how I would do it and some, maybe some training techniques to go with it. Um, the first thing I notice about this horse and she's older, she's seven, and she, she's she been cut on, she's been roped on, that's pretty much all I know of her past. Um, just sitting on her here, I noticed that she's a little little agitated about just, sit, just standing still. Um, and one thing I notice is, is that her mouth is really, really busy. And that could come from a couple different things is her teeth could be hurting her just a little bit. I haven't had her time to get her teeth, teeth checked or maybe some stomach ulcer issues or some digestion issues. And there's several supplements on the market that on horses like this or horses that I get in that I sure, I sure go to to make sure the horse is in the best health and the best state of mind so the training that we put into them works and we're efficient with it. Um, there's nothing worse than trying to work on a horse all the time and they're doing the same thing over and over because their mouth hurts or their stomach ulcers hurt. So that's always kind of the first thing I address in the, in the horse. Like the horse appears healthy and everything and it might be just the fact that someone's been really fast handed with her while she's a little quicker. Um, so, and I've only rode this horse one other time. so. I'm just going to kind of jog this horse around and talk to you guys about what I feel in this horse. So right now I, I can feel that my, she's really touchy in the belly and she's really quick left right. So it's telling me she's had a pass where someone's kind of went maybe a little fast on her and let things get out of control. Um, she feels fairly athletic as I'm trotting along here. Like I can feel her driving with her hips and pulling across the ground with her front end right here. So, but every time I move my hands just a little bit, I get a lot of reaction out of that head. She does bridle up right here. So I might just play right here and really try to slow my body down and see if she'll feel it and really try to slow this rock and I'm just taking this snaffle, smooth snaffle and just rocking it across her mouth to see how light this horse could get over time. She's, she's pretty light but she's not contained in her belly that well yet. Because as soon as you can see my horses after a while when I drop their hands she just wants to go, she wants to go somewhere else. She's really not hunting that circle, she's just a little bit all over the place. So I'm going to come around here and she got really tight off my right leg. So the left, going left right there, she felt better. Going to the right, she's a little more bracy. And the main thing is I'm not, 
I don't want to move my hands fast at all. I'm just going to sit here and play with this face and see if she'll rock, come back down to me. And she, she, every time I turn her loose, you can see I have an excess of forward motion. I said it earlier on one of the two-year-old videos is when I do not want my accelerator to be how much rain I give them. If I give them rain like this and they keep speeding up, just as this horse is doing right now, that's an excess of forward motion that this horse has. Because my, body's, my body is going slower than what her feet are and slower than her mind's going. So I could do a couple different things here. I think this one's go, uh, broke enough. I can just maybe bring her back to me and say, hey, we don't need to go that fast right now. And see if I can get her to soften up to me and quiet her mouth down. Now I'm gonna turn her back loose and see what, that was better, that was better. But you can see as soon as I, I can feel it. I don't know if you can see it at home, but as soon as I go to handle her, she wants to go faster than what I need to do, than, than she needs to. And I just noticed she kind of popped her tail just a little bit as I was checking her feel on the ends, her left side and her right side. So that's another indication of maybe some stomach issues when they're touchy in the belly like that. I'm gonna rock my leg. That's getting softer there. Now I'm gonna turn her loose and I'm, I'm thinking slow down or stop when I'm bending this horse. So you've seen some of my two-year-old videos where them horses just rate right down. This horse to me isn't as broke as them because right now I'm thinking stop and my body's in a stopping position, but she doesn't want to come down to me. So I'm gonna, just gonna keep keeping her busy right here. Every time she has too much forward, I'm gonna bend her around my inside foot. And I'm right there. I offered, it, I offered that to her to come down to a, to a walk or just to slow her thought process. The, oh, she thought about it. She thought about breaking down. And this, so right now, this is a really basic maneuver I'm doing, but I'm kind of checking out what her mind's like. Like, is she trainable? Is, is she gonna catch on to this quick or slow or ever? But I think if I stick with her here just a little bit, I kind of get a feel for what she's thinking and how, how easy or difficult she will be to train as moving forward. She finally slowed down right there. And you can see her mouth kind of slowed down right there and her eyes softened. So to me, as evaluating this horse, I'm going, well, I feel a little bit of athletic ability there we have a big engine if we can harness it. And as a trainer, we gotta figure out, if she, she has a big engine, was it, was it a little bit man-made? Was it, or was it because she is hot? Or maybe she does have some stomach issues? There's a lot of different aspects to, cut, to think about as a trainer on how to get this horse to slow down a little bit and get her in the right frame of mind to be trained on, to take to training. Um, these horses have to, their minds need to be quiet and pliable and, and trainable. So if you're, <clears throat> if you're approaching your horse when you're training, just saying, hey, do this, do that, do that, but you're not thinking about keeping the mind trainable, tomorrow when you go to ride it or the next day, it's probably not gonna be there, what you, the basics you put on your horse. So evaluating this horse, I'm thinking, Oh, yeah, I think we got some potential here. I, I'm not sure exactly what direction we'll go with it, how much cow she has, but it feels like there's an engine there. I think we either have a little bit of a teeth issue or an ulcer issue, and we have an excess of forward motion. Um, so the next few days, I'd probably just been trying to figure those three things out and see if I can get her to slow down. Then once she starts to slow down and come back to me and soften, soften right here in her mind a little bit, then I can carry on and advance my training on her.
guys for tuning in to the Ride Podcast. We hope you enjoyed this episode, and please be sure to subscribe wherever you listen to podcasts. Follow Horse and Rider Magazine on social media and find us at horseandrider.com. If you guys have any questions or comments, please be sure to hit us up at horseandrider at equinenetwork.com. We want to hear from you guys. And if you like what you're listening to, be sure to leave us a review on iTunes.